Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. Today, we're gonna be harvesting some peas. So I put these peas in the ground maybe about two months ago, and they finally started producing. Now, you wanna pick these almost every single day, maybe every other day, because once they get a mature pod on there, that particular plant will not produce anymore. They think they've done their job, they produce the seeds that they need to produce, and they're done for the year. But if you continue picking them, they kind of go into a mode where they're like, okay, I need to produce more. And in fact, you'll get more and more and more pods from these and flowers and all that um, by picking them often. So and if you skip a day, that's okay every other day. So I've been picking it every day. Um, and little by little, as the first pod started showing up here and there, I would get maybe, you know, four or five a day. And now I'm getting quite a bit more. So let's go ahead and start picking them. And as the season progresses, these harvests will get even larger. Every single, it seems like almost every day, I'm adding a couple more peas to the amount that I'm harvesting in the day. Let's get to it, let's start picking. An example of, oh, spider, hello. Kind of scared me. So an example of a pea you probably don't want to pick is something this small, it's way too small. So I've got a couple up here. And this is just the back end. It seems like this back end, because the sun is on the other side, this back end has a whole lot less. Here's a good size one. Now that's probably about as large as you want to let these get. And you really want to look low because sometimes you'll get one in there. And like I said, if you leave one, then they're not gonna produce any more for you. Now, for instance, this is an example of one I think might be a little too big. Some of those peas you can feel the size in there. Um, so I hope I didn't keep this plant from producing anymore by missing that one. And that's probably on the small side right there. Could let that go one more day. All right, so this is a sugar snap pea. This is part of this side. So right here on the front is sugar snap peas. On the back are snow peas. So you can see it's a little thicker of a pod. All these are really thin. So you can see the difference here. Sugar snap pea, thicker, and these pods are thinner. Now, I could probably let this go another day or two. In fact, I, I will on the rest of these. I want to feel a little bit of this plumped up a little bit before I pick the sugar snap peas. Now, the sugar snap started producing maybe a, a week after these. So these are all pretty new, and I have trouble finding some that have plumped out. Okay, this might be an example of starting to plump out. Feel the pods in there starting. And so we'll pick that. Now I probably could have let that one go one more day, but you want to kind of almost go back through double. You're going to find ones that you missed, like that one. Oh, see, missed that one. And that was a big size. If I would have left that another day, might have stopped this one from producing. So I'm sure I've missed a couple. Every time I look through this, I find another, but there we go. It's not too bad of a harvest for just, this is only a four foot section. So from here to there is four feet and pretty much I'm only harvesting, I'm only harvesting one row here. I've got a couple of the sugar snap peas in here, but this is all the snow pea because that's what's producing right now. I got two of the sugar snaps, but they're just not quite ready. They haven't plumped out yet. That's not bad guys. I mean, if you think about it, if I'm coming every single day and getting this amount, this is enough for a stir fry. Um, you know, pretty much a four foot bed is enough for a family of four, I would think, uh, on your daily eating of these. Uh, if you do a stir fry or you're just gonna have this with dip, you know, um, however you want it, however you cook your snow peas or sugar snap peas, it's plenty. So a little four foot section of peas produces quite a bit. Now, if you want quite a bit more, uh, you know, like I said, in, in another week, I'm probably gonna get double this amount, maybe more than double this. So a little four foot section, maybe you could do 10 foot section and you're gonna get a lot, you know, more than I would think most families can eat in a day. So, and that's an everyday pick. This isn't something that I come by once every week or whatever, I'm getting this amount, that would be pretty poor. No, this is daily and these grow really quick. I spent another couple minutes looking around and I probably got a half dozen more. So there we go, that's the harvest of the day. Good amount of sugar snap and snow peas. Um, I did get a couple more of the sugar snaps that were larger size. You can see there, 